Hello, my name's Nick Bauman. Uh, I'm the inventor of the optical DJ cartridge. Uh, the needle never skips because there's no needle at all, it just uses an infrared laser. You just put your tone arm in the up position and then it clicks on as a cartridge. But you can read two dimensions of movement, X and Y, because the normal DJing is just backwards and forwards, whereas what I'm doing is backwards, forwards and sideways moving that sideways so you can change the pitch. All right, so basically it's an XY, it turns a turntable into an X and Y controller. So you can basically turn your turntable into like a MIDI controller or turn it into a pitch controller. By just moving the tone arm sideways, you're gonna increase the pitch or decrease, decrease the pitch um, because the record's going faster on the outside and slower on the inside. But if you imagine you can lock the pitch in software and then you could maybe control a filter with the Y axis or just with the X axis you could control a filter so you could like scratch a filter but you can increase or decrease the pitch at the same time as adjusting a filter because you've got two parameters of movement. Isn't it? I you in this, in this, in this, in that magazine. Now, there's a, there's a bit of late, latency because this is just a prototype, but it will work on USB 2, uh, high speed USB 2. So you can use the, the phono cable from the turntable, you can plug that into USB to get three volts down the tone arm into the product. So you, essentially it's wireless. It's a wireless DJ product, so a bit like phase, but with phase you have to charge it up. And uh, with phase you only get one dimension of scratching, which is just backwards and forwards. With this device you get backwards and forwards and sideways. So that's why this device is such a good device really. I just want to work with any other DJ company uh, or see if they'll take it off my hands. All I want is a small royalty, just 30% of the profit. I think that's reasonable because I've spent about 50,000 pounds on the development of this product to get it to where it is now. We've tested it, so it definitely will work at USB 2. All you do it, to make it work with any software, it, it just spits out a number. So it should work with Serato, Rekordbox, Traktor, Virtual DJ. It'll work with any software, it just spits out a number and that's the playback speed. I reckon it could be sold for about £169. There's loads of profit in the actual selling of the, of the product, but it's the development that actually cost the money. It would have about 12.5 milliseconds of latency under USB 2 once we've made it so it'll have really low latency um, the calibration is instant you just press a key you're just telling it this is normal playback speed so if i played it you just tell it what's normal playback speed so if i move it again, then you just push a key and it's normal playback speed So essentially, um, you can just push a button and get normal playback speed. Um, but also, you should be able to lock the pitch in software. So then you can use the X and Y of this device to control any parameters you want to control in Serato or in Virtual DJ or any software. It's up to them how they support it. Um, all you do is put your tone arm in the up position. So it should work with all turntables with a tone arm up lever, which is nearly all turntables, really. Um, I've already sort of written some software for it, but uh, there's no point. It just should work with the standard softwares that are already out on the market. I can answer emails and um, I'm kind of at the moment building opticaldj.com. Thanks for your time and I look forward to seeing all of your positive comments, I hope. Okay, thank you.